So, are you wondering how hackers can easily take control of any system? Exploiting the system is not hard, but finding a way how to exploit and get into the system is hard and time-consuming. Once you find any flaw or entry point in the target system, then it becomes easy for hackers. This video will be beginner-friendly, so the task will be easy in case if you want to try yourself. So, there are different types of hackers. Some of them hack into the system and cause chaos, while other find flaws and report it to the owner and get good bounty for it. Now, let's see how hackers really hack into the server and what they can do. This metasploitable machine will be our target for today. The first thing a hacker will do is scan the target system. After scanning the system, the target has so many ports open, but we will be focusing only on port 21 for today's tutorial. Now let's further scan the target for more information such as what is the version they are using on port 21. With dash P, we will specify the specific port we want to scan. And with the dash SV switch, we will enumerate the version they are using. Now, once a hacker identifies the version of the service being run, the first thing they would do is research whether there are any publicly available exploits for the specific port. If an exploit is available, they will utilize it to their advantage. Let's research this specific version of VSFTPD. Before you begin a Google search for the exploit, you can first try using the search exploit tool available in Kali Linux. If there are any matches, you will see the results for it. Fortunately, we have the result, and it's available in the Metasploit framework. Let's begin with Metasploit. Once again, let's search for VSFTPD. As you can see, we have the exploit available. We can simply use this exploit to take control of the server. Now type the command show options to see which fields need to be configured. As you can see, we only have one option to set, which is our hosts. Let's set it up and exploit the target system. Let's confirm it once again, and if everything is fine, we will then finally exploit the system. Now type exploit to see if we can gain access to the system. As you can see, we have successfully gained access to the target system, and we have session 1 opened. Now let's type the who am I command to see who we are logged in as. As you can see, we have gained root access, which means we have full control over the system. You now have unrestricted access to the system. Now let me show you a command that can destroy the entire target system. Please do not try this command on your system, otherwise you will wipe out everything on your system. Thanks for watching and I'd appreciate a follow and a thumbs up.